Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing some really easy flat mail ideas. You may or may not know how to do this already just by looking at it, but I'm gonna show you my process and I'm also gonna show you how to add, add on to this um, to switch things out a little and just extend it. Um, so here I have this little shaker thing and then it looks like a file folder, but it's actually not. It's more like a loaded envelope type thing. So I have a pocket right here and I have a pocket right here. And then this one is just a really simple six by six. And you can just see it's just simply folded and you can insert anything you want. You can put um, a file, you could put, uh, you know, folders, sleeves. I'll, I'll show you a few fun ways to decorate that. So the best part about this is we're gonna be using some six by six paper sheets and that's it. And you don't have to have a scoreboard or you can. I'm probably just gonna use my scoreboard like one time in this whole thing. And the stuff I'm using today is gonna to be Splendor by My Mind's Eye. So what I'd like to do is I like to start with a shaker. Now, I don't measure this, this is all by eyeball, but I kinda just go on my machine and I get a waterfall sleeve. And for these, I use the four by six waterfall sleeves. And I kind of eyeball it. And then after that, I like to take the paper that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna use this one for the cover. And I like to score at however big my shaker is. So it's kind of at like, if you want to replicate this, it's at about three and a half inches, but this is actually about two inches wide. My shaker is about two, inch, two inches wide by six. So I'm going to fold that. And before we pop the shaker on, I'm using my lace dies, my favorite ones. And as you guys see, I use it for everything. I love this set. They're six inches long, so it's perfect when I cut them out. I am gonna simply glue it on right at this edge right here. I'm just gonna glue that down. And you can see right there, I already have my flaps. So at this point, if I was doing this, I would simply leave it like this and put a brad on and wrap it. So easy to make this beautiful with one six by six paper and just a fold and some lace. And if you don't have lace, that is okay. Um, do I have samples up here? I thought I did, I do. I wanna show you um, a few samples after I'm done of ways I've done this without the doily. So if, don't worry if you don't have it. So now is the time we wanna pop on our um, shaker. And again, I sewed mine, but you can you know, fuse tool it, tape it, whatever you have to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my double-sided tape. It's so easy to make flat nail, so nice, and just like the easiest projects. So I'm just gonna do the top and the bottom to speed this up. And I also don't want too much tape around my sequins so just put on the top and bottom Oop, and I definitely put that way over the edge okay so right there is my little shaker in the front so for this part right here I just now I have my puck on the side so I'm gonna glue right here and right here to create this side pocket. And now is when we wanna take like another sheet of paper and you're gonna simply just kind of, like this is a scrap I was using. You want it to hang over the edge just a little. So let me use another six by six paper. And um, let's see, these are super, dark, I'm not going into dark, but okay, I guess that looks better. So you want it over the edge a little bit, so you can trim this down, just how much you need. 
I'm gonna take my cutter, just kind of eyeball it and trim it. It doesn't have to be perfect. And that's how we get our other pocket right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue right here and right here in this area. So that's how we have our one and two pockets. And then I just simply added on a little uh, tab right here, which you don't have to do either. It's just preference. So I'm gonna glue this on. I did sew mine on, but. I just took one of these little um, punches and I punched it in and added a little twine and it looks like I actually did that before I um, put this one on but that's okay because we can always improvise you can see what it looks like at the top here so there are two ways you can do this I'm just going to go ahead and punch a hole in this little um, die it came with. And place that on there. Sorry if you heard kids outside, but the neighbor's kids are all outside playing. Not with each other because of the lockdown, but they talk to each other from the porches and stuff in the balcony. Okay, these are way too long, so I'm going to trim that down just a little bit. So there you go. And you can see mine's a little bit longer, but um, it's probably not going to come out the same unless you measure everything. So you can see what I did and how easy and adorable it looks. Um, and then if you want to extend this even more, you just will add on another sheet of paper and keep layering and layering until you have as many as you want. And if you want, seal the sides and keep a pocket on the top. That's another idea. So um, that is how you do that. And for this, I simply just added that brad. And I wanna give you just some ideas to do. Um, you could add like tags with a brad inside and hang them like, you could stack them up like a little tag album. That would be adorable for them to open and you can see that it was closed like that. Or um, let me show you a couple of examples that I did. I meant to do this video way before and I didn't have time. So let me show you examples so it's not always, it doesn't have to be shabby chic looking. So this is one from Easter and I added a little pocket in the front, but I still have my side pocket right there as you see. So I had just one side pocket. I only folded it once. So it's more like this with the pocket. And here's one just like this, but Easter. So you can see how I put a regular circle brad and it looks like that. And then this is for the colorful at heart. This is another one. Now this one has no doilies. So you can see that it looks just as adorable. You don't have to have that lace dye and it comes out just as cute. So, I mean, same project, but I mean, they look completely like different and this doesn't have a shaker on it. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial, just something really easy and fun to do for Saturday. I like uploading the easy ones on the weekend because I just feel like it's time to relax and do all that kind of stuff. So thank you guys.